So if you don't know, event uh, 201 is where all the bad guys, Bill Gates um, and all the rest, WHO, Dr. Fauci, they played a game of risk and, and that game of risk is pretty much being played out on the world stage. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn my ringer back on, 505-510-4226, if you have any comments or questions. We're trying to figure out why Ellen DeGeneres' stage looks just like Epstein Island. A lot of people are asking. Now, uh, the ground zero was, in fact, in Seattle. In fact, let me go ahead and bring that up really quick. Infinite Plane Radio. Tim. Hey, what's up, caller? Um, what are your thoughts on Ellen DeGeneres' set looking just like Epstein Island's temple? You know what? I actually saw that, and I thought it was kind of crazy because they really does look like it. You know, like the background, the stripes, white and blue stripes, stuff like that. You know that girl has been there. You know she's been there. You know what I mean? Like, or at least, if not her, her producers have been there, and they're just playing a mockery on that. You know what I mean? Like, I see it. I mean, go ahead and 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 play it off as a TV show, you know, a talk show, whatever, but for the people who are really awake and they actually notice stuff like that for us, like we, 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 we're realizing what's going on over there. We know what the hell is going on over there. And just to be clear, what do you think is going on over there? Because I have questions. I have doubts. Um, to be straight up what I think, this is my opinion. Dude, they're, they're banging little girls over there. They're banging little boys over there. They're 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 doing what the most heinous crimes to humanity, which are our children, the people who are supposed to grow up and lead the country when the elders fall back and, and pass away and, and, and retire or whatever. They're they're harming our future. You know what I mean? And when's the last time we saw a mass execution of children? Well, we've seen it in very many civilizations, as a matter of fact, where they abuse kids like this in many civilizations, where they stop the production of babies. They halt it down to where it's one child, one, one child, one per family. Like they've halted that. They've tried to stop the, the inclination of, of, or in other words, progression. But I don't want to say progression because to me, pro progressing too quickly, you just get some really you know, crazy ideas to me. It's more like, um, like what's going on today? You know what I mean? Like what's going on in the United States today? You know, the, well, what's the normalization, normalization of, 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 of sexualizing, sexualizing children, children and these little pride parades and stuff, stuff like, like that. Like, like a little, little kid, what's his name? The little kid, the amazing, amazing Elliot kid, kid the, the little trans kid, the poor kid that's being, you know, thrown out like, like that. Like they're, they're, they're throwing... throwing too many progressive ideas out there are moving us way too far in, 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 into the future. Who knows what kids are going to be in the future, but I'm, I'm, I'm a very religious kind of guy. Now, let me, let me ask you a question. So, the, okay. next, the same people who are behind that, who are behind, and I believe we have a little bit of an echo on your part. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, no, no, sorry I got to throw off track. No, no, that's fine. Okay, so, the, the people who are, in fact, do you mind turning your speaker down? Thank you. Oh, so me? Oh, yeah, sorry. No, that's fine. I hear a bit of an echo. So the people who are behind these things that you're talking about, like the, uh, the, the, the drag queen story hours or whatever for kids at the libraries, all that stuff. That, yeah, that's going to be amazing. amazing. There you go. Okay, well, those people are the same ones who now support uh, social distancing, lockdowns, mandatory lockdowns, shutting down a business. And so there's been a complete reversal in the morality of the left. And now they are puritanical and they want to put on Tyvek burkas. So do you see that as a good thing, as progress, uh, whether or not they did it for the same reasons as someone else? Tyvek burkas? Well, yeah. I mean, the social distancing, the face masks, the gloves, um, all that's going to undo a lot of the uh, morality that would say that, you know, there's, there's basically 
no reason for a nuclear family, polyamory. Like it's the opposite opposite of social distancing. I'm saying that the same political right. left you cite, they now advance this puritanical new religion, new version. Like destroying the nuclear family of, of getting rid of the father and, and distancing uh, uh, children from their father when it's been known that fathers teach limits, mothers teach compassion, and what they're doing, it, I mean, that, that is the simplest form of the nuclear family to me. But when, you, when you're doing it to society, and keeping people like keeping children away from children, or let's say here I live in Denver, okay? I'm uh, I'm a uh, I'm the host of the the Five Years in Podcast. I talk about a lot of stuff what's going on in the city. Lately, I haven't because this pod, this this uh I, this uh pandemic has really jacked up my podcast. I haven't been able to record nothing. It's ridiculous. But anyway, um, I see what's going on. Like uh, to to me, uh, keep distancing children away from each other closing down the parks making kids put masks on they want to get this this proposition where they have to they, they the kids are going to go to school they have to wear a mask it's already been freaking proven that the oxygen levels when you're wearing a mask are way lower super low and you're breathing uh carbon dioxide which is you know not going to keep you living at all i mean so, no, wait, hold on. Let me stop you there, there really quick. There, 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 what do you think about the okay. existence of the virus itself? Um, or do you accept the science on it? Okay, so um, I this is what I believe about the coronavirus. At first, I thought it was a hoax, and then you know, I started looking into it and, and seeing people actually getting sick. And then I said, "Wow, uh, the only people I see getting sick are, are, are very poor immune systems." I have a brother brother-in-law my, my sister's husband he is a 400 pound man beast of a man but he's 400 pounds sleep apnea everything he's got it all all the other symptoms of being obese he was dying in the freaking hospital he was dying my my sister was crying my whole family was mourning for him we thought he was gonna die a 400 pound man survived the coronavirus wait wait how do you know we really had, how do you know he had the coronavirus like um, what was the key of he, transmission my sister's a nurse she works at a coronavirus i'm gonna I'm do quotation marks coronavirus um like site but it's really not it's an old folks home in utah uh west valley no so, so did she, did she like see that. any anyway. did she see any covid's deaths um, so, so they, they were bringing, bringing people, people there that, like, like I said, they were uh, people with weak immunities, uh, cancer patients. She, she was, was telling me there were old people there. Um, and no, because look, people if, there. if you went by the mainstream news, and you probably know this already, if you went by the mainstream sure. news accounts of things, um, you would believe that the hospitals were full, that the uh, nurses were overworked, and that they, they were um, understaffed. And that there were so many bodies piling up that they were outside the ICU dying in the hallways, that they had to dig mass graves, put bodies in trucks on the outside of the hospitals. Did you hear about the 311 jumpers? That the hospitals are so full that bodies were falling out the windows. And yet there's no evidence for this. Like, is this what she experienced? No, she did not experience that. And that's, that's where I'm saying that um, I believe that the coronavirus was an unleashed. Um, lab you know some sort of virus created in the lab which a lot of you know a lot of doctors will tell you that viruses are simply um solutions that your body makes to to fend off against you know bacteria and illnesses or whatever something like that uh but um this virus that was unleashed on humanity you know it was created in a lab it was it's not reality if it's created in a lab you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to experience the real world kind of bacteria shit wait, wait, out wait, here in wait, the world. Wait, wait, so in the then, real world. Stop. Let me ask so, you a question. So though. when they unleash do, this, do you drive? When they unleash this, do you, oh, sorry, sorry. Do, do, you, uh, do you wear a mask? Yeah. Do you drive with a mask on? I do not drive with a mask on. I'm a garbage man. I do not drive with a mask on. I don't wear gloves. When I get out to pick up people's trash, but wait a minute, I don't use gloves. Wait a minute, you believe? I'm not stop. scared. But you believe that there's a bio weapon. If I believe there's a bio it is. weapon, it I, is. Then wait, but then you're, then you're very, then you're very brave. You're braver than I am because if I believe, no, that there I'm not were, brave. You are brave. I'm telling you're, you, you're very courageous. Is, this is to kill people. It's, 
I am not no, an obese I'm telling you, man, person. you're, you're very I, I don't courageous. I have a weak community. I'm not old. You're very. I don't have cancer. Okay, wait. Let me ask you a question. I'm not that, saying that. Let me ask you a question sure. that only garbage men would know. Is okay. it is it legal to throw biologically um, or biomedical waste? Is it legal to throw biomedical waste in the municipal trash? Can I take my mask, my gloves, my PPE, and throw it in the blue dumpster that you're going to go pick up? Or is that? Te yeah. Technically, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to put it in one of those little lock boxes. I mean, um, you can technically throw away biological waste. If it's like needles, you have to put them in a plastic bottle. That's the only way you can get rid of them. Uh, there was a guy who used to work at the Denver Health. Uh, he was stealing bags that said biohazard on them, and he was using them as personal trash bags. And there happened to be somebody who saw that, and you know they busted the dude for, for doing that. Because yes, it is illegal to get rid of bio waste. It is illegal to get rid of okay, bio waste. Okay, so then you can everybody who's got a COVID mask, who thinks they have COVID, who exhales covids into that mask and you put it in the regular yeah. trash they put you in danger of catching covids and that's why that's a crime you can get fined like a hundred thousand dollars by the epa for that and that's why i think uh, that's why i think that is, is bullcrap because uh well that's why i started thinking about this virus why it's bullcrap because it, yeah it, it is a real virus it's there whatever but it's, it, it's definitely I won't even go that far. And I don't mean to like rip you it off. It was look, made in a lab to, I, I don't to, mean to cut you off. off certain I, people. I don't mean to cut you off, but look, there okay, is there, there is no evidence for a pandemic. Where's the body count? Where are the bodies? Where are the numbers? Where are the spikes? There's none. There's none. There's, so, there's so more the, Marines that kill themselves. More. Wait. My, I have to have more people, more of my Marine friends. I was a Marine. Well, where, more of where my is the brothers weapon? kill themselves. Last year, just by itself, last year, then there has been people I actually then where, know then where's died the virus? of COVID. You're saying you believe in the virus. You say you believe in the bioweapon, yeah. but there's no bodies. How can you believe yep. in it if there's no bodies? Uh, well, I, I, you it, know what? It's, I, it's not real. What I, it's not what real. I, but hey, happening I, I got another caller coming in. Thanks for the call. 505-510-4226. Caller, if you don't call right back. I just want to say either the pandemic's real or it's not. If it's a bioweapon and it's real, where's the bodies? The hospitals were empty. Empty, empty, empty. So based on that alone, I'm saying, no, um, if you want to prove to me that there was a pandemic, go for it. But you're, on, you're basically spreading mainstream media uh, propaganda at that point. And there's no evidence for it. All right, phones are open, 504. COVID-19.